What is going on YouTube? AVI back with another video. Today we finally got our car back, the 2003 Mitsubishi Eclipse GTS Spider. Uh, this is my secondary project car that I've been working on for a while. As some of you may know, it's been gone for a year. The transmission need to be, needed to be swapped out. And finally it's happened. The car finally drives nice and smooth. And uh, we're just gonna go on a quick walk around, show you guys what else needs to be done. Yeah, let's get to it. So you guys know it's my my project car, this is like my weekend go-getter, my local uh, driving around type of car. So yeah, I go to the gym with this. I go local roads, anywhere I need to go uh, for a quick stop. I'll take this thing. And uh, I've had this car for a little bit now, for about two weeks, I'm finally making a video on it. And I just wanted to go uh, walk around it real quick to show you guys some of the things it needs uh, cosmetic wise, because right now uh, the engine works good, the transmission works good, and to show you guys around some of the cosmetic things that need to be done. All right, so first and foremost, right at the front here, you can't really tell on the video, but uh, you can see here the headlights do need to be replaced. So these are aftermarket headlights. These aren't stock and looks like somebody messed around with them. I don't know if it's been torched or something, but those need to be fixed up. And that's actually the first mod we're gonna actually be doing on the Eclipse because I just ordered them and they are in fact at my house. So they're ready to be put in. But as you can, as you can see going around the car now, uh, second thing that needs to be done cosmetically is the bumper. So you can see it's been faded out by the sun. I guess it's been parked because everywhere else kind of looks good with the paint, paint wise but uh, the sun's been shining right at the front bumper and just being plastic, it might have worn away quicker. So definitely needs um, to be repainted and I'll probably do it myself, uh, we'll see. Just FYI, this is gonna be years worth of project work just cause you know, that's how it is. And this leads up to the third thing that needs to be fixed up is the hood. It needs to be repainted. There's a little rust chip right here and kind of all along everywhere. And now that I mention it, when you go in closer, yeah, yeah, it does look, in fact, worse. But from here, it looks pretty good. But, so, front hood needs to be repainted, too. So, coming along the side here, there's obviously some micro dings that need to be fixed up. I'm not actually too worried about them. If, if it looks good from afar, I don't have to fix it up, but that could be a future thing. So, some dings there, some dings up here. Um, but as long as we get the paint corrected, uh, I don't think it'll notice as much. Some some scuffing here. This is like the, the least of my worries. But as for the rims, that could potentially be uh, another cosmetic mod. But right now, it does look good, so it's the least priority on my list. The rims look good, but obviously when you come up, there's some scuff marks, but it's it looks good for the car. Obviously, there's some wheel gappage there that also needs to be addressed, but that's also a long-term thing. Not too worried about it now. And yeah, right now it's riding pretty high, but uh, it doesn't bother me. Less scrapage on the bumper, you know. Another thing, this gas cap just needs to be repainted. Uh, probably make it a chrome finish or, or black. Not too sure yet, but yeah. Otherwise, looks pretty good on this side. Now for the rear. Uh, it does look really good from this side. It has the stock original taillights. That could also potentially be swapped out for an aftermarket taillights, but I think it right now it looks pretty good to me to keep some stockness on this car. And as you can see, there's a unique uh, bumper stamping right here where it says Mitsubishi. You got the spider script there. That looks pretty cool, GTS. And right here, it's another least of my worries. There's a little bit of um, scuffing here. It looks like the previous owner bumped into something and could potentially be fixed up or replaced. But not again, not too worried about it. So that'll be the least of my worries. Along here on the rear third three quarter panel, the, the antenna. So right now it doesn't raise up or down. It does make a weird noise as it's it's trying to come up every time I turn on the car, turn off the car. So honestly, I might just pull the fuse on this and just leave it alone because there's an aftermarket stereo that has Bluetooth audio and I can just use that instead. I, I don't remember the last time I listened to radio. So yeah, there's that, but that's really none of my concerns. Mostly the, the cosmetic concerns are on the inside. 
Uh, the outside sort of looks good and doable, easy to fix type of thing. But let's head on inside and show you guys what we got to do in there. All right, so we're going to finish this up pretty quick because I'm parked under a bunch of trees and stuff's already getting in here. So I did clean the inside and outside uh, using a basic wash and stuff's already getting in there. So, um, but yeah, the, the back seats look pretty good. Uh, I got the nice seat belt uh, plugged in, so I mean, it means you're a car guy. So, uh, but yeah, the back seats are nice and clean. Front seats are okay. There's a little rip here. I don't know if we can sew that up together or just get aftermarket seats, but not too worried about that, honestly. Uh, everything here works. It's just some of this plastic that needs to be covered up maybe with a wrap or something. I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, other than that, this steering wheel, honestly, I'd like a, a modified quick release steering wheel. So that could be another long-term thing I can get. Uh, carbon fiber, quick release, that'd be pretty cool. Sort of like an import type of thing. And another thing, the speakers actually don't really do too well. They're, they don't really work uh, very good. They're 20 year old speakers. That's, uh, that's something that's a priority for me. Uh, as I'm driving with the, with the top down, I gotta have some speakers, music that works. So um, I might do that pretty soon, change out the speakers, uh, some high quality speakers, but not, not anything like a, a subwoofer type of thing. I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, steering wheel needs to be fixed. And as you can see, I have the dashboard covered up. That's for a reason because the dashboard is really cracked out. I don't know, maybe if somebody hammered it or, uh, here, let me just take it off for you. So yeah, you can see there, it's like somebody used a hammer right on the, the dashboard. There's like holes everywhere. But as long as I got my, my cover, I'm not too worried about it. And going along with the dashboard and the speaker's not working, uh, I think I can maybe do a Apple CarPlay kind of modification to this thing. So I think I can remove this storage here along with this and have a little like Apple CarPlay screen. Let me know what you guys think. I think it'll be pretty cool. Um, it's kind of like a like an old car with some modern vibes to it. So that that's potentially an option um, that I'd like. And for now, I think that's about it. Uh, sunroof, there's a little scrapage there, but that's another least of my worries. As long as it's working, it's good. And that's a long-term kind of project for me. But uh, let's finish up this video. So guys, like I said, if you are interested in Mitsubishi Eclipse content, uh, the G3 generation. Here it is. Uh, like I said, first thing we're going to do headlights because I have that in and we'll get those replaced and uh, we'll show you guys the, the project for, for years to come. So if you guys like this video, check out the merch, like, subscribe, and just like that, ABI out.